Hi all, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have a haul to share. I went to Michael's, Joanne, and I got a totally Tiffany order. Joanne's, I bought this blue cotton fabric. I want to make a, I have a long calyx unit and entertainment center that's much like the calyx but it's called I think Rock Blend from Ikea and on the top I always put decor items so I was looking for something to, and I kind of have a riser that needs to be covered so I kind of wanted to make a long cover to go with that so that's why I bought that one and this one is to do something similar but on a smaller unit it's actually a better homes and garden unit, but it's pretty much the same as the Calyx Cubes from Ikea. Um, that one I have a memorial to my father-in-law on, and he was in the Navy, so I bought that fabric. And then I just bought some white, because I needed some for the quilt box that I'm working on. Michael's, I bought this. I needed a new Christmas doormat when we were putting we put the outside stuff up other than like the doormat because the doormat has a thanksgiving one right now we're not lighting the decorations up but we put them out while it was still nice and hubby's like boy that christmas doormat's in really bad shape i'm like yeah i'm gonna have to buy another one i said i bet i can find one on sale so again let's see I totally Tiffany over. I'm trying to find everything in here. Let's see. I got three of the Katie bags. I like these ones. I use one like one of the Katie bags for my um, Stamps of Life folders. And I use one for my Diamond Press Slimline dies that I have. So I needed a couple more. So they, they, it was during their birthday sale, and they were buying two get one free, so I bought three of the Katie. And I needed more of the Kirsten. I'm using this one to put my completed cards in. So I bought three. I'm not sure that will be enough, but I figured it'll at least get me most of the way. And I got an Edna a tree, and two Teresa's. I was using the Teresa for, her, for um, batteries downstairs. I found I could put, I think I put 24 AA and 24 AAAs in one. So I wanted to keep some of those type downstairs. Most of my batteries are up here. But I figured I could use a few more of them. I bought a package of the pockets for the Katie bag. I thought I ordered some for the Kirsten bag, but I did not. I ordered some 6 by 6 ones, which I thought I needed, and I really didn't. But I'll, I'll probably need them down the road. It's just right now I didn't. If I'd have realized that I didn't need them right now, I would have ordered two of the 12 by 12 because I know I need more than one of the 12 by 12 um, Some of the freebie items. I gotta find my notes because I made notes of what each of these I'll get them out of there. With each of the slide fast and course what their names ended up being. <laughs> I'm not sure what I did with my notes. It'll turn up somewhere. Well, I'm gonna share this one real quick so I can get it out of here. I bought more of the eight by five and a half magnets. Oh, I bought two packs of those. I thought I only bought one. You know, I might have, I think I do remember buying two because I use them in the Katie bags. And I also use them sometimes in the Kirsten bags because I use the Kirsten bags for the Stamps of Life card base dies because they're really big. So they fit really well in the Kirsten bag. And then the slide stash in store. I bought the bundle which you got a pack of each, and each pack has three of them in. This is the number one slide stash in store. This is the number two. Let me show you. 
I'm not sure how much I'm going to use these in my crafting. I think I'm going to use them around the house for things. But we'll, I might use some in the craft room too. The number three. The number four. The number five. And number six. Number six is Big Bertha. I couldn't remember her name. The first one was Bitsy Bonnie. I'm wondering what did I do with that note? No, that's not it. I know, I know I kept it somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. But anyways, and then the freebies that I got were I got a marker, another one of the brush um, try to lend brush markers in the Crafter's Purple. I got another one of the little um, totes, I guess we'll call it. I don't know what to call it. And then this one is Fairy Kisses. It's a stencil and stamps. There's the stencil where I add the stamps there. Let me put it a little closer so you can see what it looks like. But that's um, that was the other freebie. Tiffany is doing another takeover of the Crafters TV on the 20th. So I'll have to mark my calendar for that. I don't know. A lot of times when she does a takeover, she has something new, but not always. So I'm not sure if there's anything new coming out right now or if they might be starting some of their, um, because that would be the Saturday before Black Friday. So, so it could be connected into that, but. We might be going out again on Friday. And I'm thinking I might try to hit Joanne again because I seen they had Christmas fabric on sale. And they have this porch sign that I want. And I seen it the other day at the store when I was there. But it wasn't it was wasn't hadn't been unloaded off the cart yet. And I don't think the items were on sale. I think they had been on sale up till Sunday. We were there Monday, so I don't think they were on sale. But I think maybe they're going to be back on sale starting Thursday. So maybe when we go Friday, I'll look and see if they have that. Because I might buy that. I'm spending my crafting budget on decor decorations. But <laughs> that's okay. Um, so that's kind of... because I like that one that I've seen. Because one way is Christmas and the other way is winter. So I figured I could have it sitting out from, you know, from just after Thanksgiving. So basically December as the Christmas side and then flip it around in January because it's like a winter type one and I usually do snow as my theme for January snow snow or snowmen so it, that would look cute I'd like to get find more of those that are double sided like that so that you wouldn't need as many of them so I could sit it on the porch like have, or if I could find the nice big panel and make my own, I'd be okay with that. Because then I could take like one and have like Valentine's on one side, St. Patrick's, and then Easter, maybe spring, um, patriotic, and summer, fall, and Halloween. And I still then I have Thanksgiving left over. But, but you know, kind of do like that. Do two. That's right. I only have eleven themes instead of twelve because I usually use. I usually leave the patriotic up for longer. What I'll usually do is leave spring up for like maybe an extra week then I do patriotic and it's usually up longer and then I do like summer for an extra week. So but that's really all I that's all I bought. Oh, shaking my camera, sorry about that. Um, trying to think if there was anything. Oh, I was going to bring up my the CD I bought and I forgot it. I bought um, Kelly Clarkson's new Christmas CD. I did find that I had already purchased the Dolly Parton one. I don't know where I put it, but it's on my iTunes, so I know I had to have bought it. I just don't know what I did with it. I might have tucked it into a Christmas box, and I'll find it when I get my Christmas decorations out. I need to get the rest of my Thanksgiving, my rest of my Halloween decorations down in here so I can put up the Thanksgiving. I haven't been in my craft room much this week, so that didn't, that didn't get done when I was doing the ones downstairs. But anyways, I think that's all I've got to share today. I'm still working on the Get Organized Challenge a little bit. Um, I have
haven't had much to do the last few weeks because last week and this week are color and I did my color catalog and all that last the last challenge so I didn't really have anything to do um, next week is photos and mementos um, I have some of those but I have to and I have to start sorting them out the way out they're going to be done a little bit different the ones I have but rather than doing them by year because I have certain projects in mind so I'm just going to sort them right into the project file that I have and then week 11 will be tools which she's never done that week before because usually when she calls tool week stamp size and she did each of those individual this is going to be more like rulers and scissors and things like that that she doesn't usually cover up so I'm, I'm interested in that one and then the last week week 12 is adhesives which she's never had a full week of either so I'm curious to see those two weeks and see her ideals on them because I mean I have mine stored and for a while I had a lot of my adhesives in a um, triangle traveler which I liked but I decided I wanted the tra Triangle Traveler for something else, and I do have all of my adhesives in one of Tiffany's carts. This, it's not this one, the one I have it in is up front, so you can't really see it, but I have it in one of those carts. And I kind of like that, because then when I'm working, I can just pull the card out, sit it next to the desk, and I can find any adhesive that I happen to need. I have the same thing with my tool cart is back here. I can have that set off to the side too and be able to grab any tool that I need. I like that better than having my desktop though. Right now my desktop is kind of covered. But I have Thanksgiving paper out because I have some Thanksgiving projects I want to do and I have a few I have things that I just bought that need to be put away and so and a project that I finished I need to finish putting that stuff away. Usually I do that right away and I just put part of it away. I just didn't finish. I need to finish putting it away and I need to try to maybe get a couple more Thanksgiving projects cut out next week and then it'll or maybe this week. We'll see. And then it's into Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.